Hello everyone, I hope you're well. I'm in the car now with the boyfriend, he's there. We are going to Book Barn. Book Barn is basically what it sounds. It's like a massive barn in Bristol. Um, although it's in Somerset, isn't it? Well, it's still, yeah, it's still, Bristol is like really far out. Really far out Bristol. It's in like the countryside, look, but we're in the middle of nowhere. And all the books are a pound, but I believe the children's books are 50p. So we're just gonna go there, have a look around. I think they've got like a fair thing on, which it might be shut by now. But I'll take you along, I'll film you. I'm being driven around like a princess <laughs> by my chauffeur as usual. We're here! There it is behind here, like this massive barn in like the shadiest middle of nowhere. One million books, oh my god. One million, oh my god, there's children everywhere. We are here, oh my god. It's all sectioned, so you've got gardening, water gardens, gardening, and then the back row is all unsorted. So I don't know if you can see. Dear Lord. So there is so many, and up here it says all books under the mezzanine. Half a pound. Oh my god, there's so many. We're just in gardening. And then these are all fiction, but they're all alphabetical. Got old editions. Very nice. Historical fiction. Oh, Christmas Promise. Alison Weir. That looks quite good. Then it's just rows and rows and like right up high as well. So much. Sci-fi. Wartime fiction. Just loads as you can obviously see. And then here there is young adult section. It's quite small. Oh, I like Amberry. There's a lot of religious books like that, and they've got a religious section as well. They've got humour, loads of Giles comics up there. Crime fiction. There's almost like so much you can't see, if you know what I mean. Because there's so much. It's more crime. Ruth Randell. There's a whole like section of her stuff there. Love the yellow fields. What is in the fields? Linseed. Right there. That you make oil out of, don't you? Yeah. We are now out of Book Barn, back in the car. We went for a carvery at Toby Carvery, which was nice, which is like a pub. That was good. Oh, we met this woman. We were like queuing up to get the carvery food because it's kind of like a buffet. And then there was this elderly woman behind us and she had a walking stick. And I thought she was probably about like 60 years old. And my boyfriend was like, oh, do you want to go in front of us? Because she's like older than us and we're nice, respectful people. And she was like, oh yeah, you know, it's old age, got a stick. She was talking like that. And then she went, oh, I'm 90 later this year. And I was there like, what? And then she was like, oh, my mum lived to 100. I felt like saying, you're gonna live till 200 or something. Like, there's no sign of you stopping. She looked great. I genuinely thought she was about 60, so that was weird. And then we went to the supermarket and that was it. So about Book Barn, I enjoyed Book Barn, but I didn't get a lot. I feel like I get a bit overwhelmed there because there's so many books. My boyfriend got me this book, which I really love, and it's called Love, A Celebration. I picked it up, it's got like a velvet cover and it's a really tiny, lovely little book and it's got different poems in it all about love and the celebration of love. That was a pound because all the books are a pound apart from children's are 50p but then some of them are like different prices and they do like antique books in there as well but all their books are really like not damaged so you know in a charity shop sometimes you'll get a book for like 20p because it's missing a cover or it's like quite ripped or water damaged like the books in there they're not like that they're old books but they've been looked after so i suppose that's why it's a pound on the books but i just got a bit overwhelmed there there was too much stuff don't you think also the categories weren't very filled yeah so they'd have like a horror category and have like five books in it and then the rest of the shop is just what do they say? Unsorted books. Yeah. So it's just rows and rows of unsorted books. Like you don't know what kind of genre they are, nothing like that at all. 
I just felt a bit overwhelmed. We also didn't have a lot of time to like spend in there because they were shutting. And so yeah, I got one book, but I would recommend the book Barn. I think it is a very good place to go. It's not a place to go if you're looking for like one book that you really want because you're not gonna find it in there. <laughs> so we are now driving back into, oh my God, there's air balloons. There's air balloons. Can you see all those hot air balloons? Oh my dear Lord. Can you see it up there? Try and zoom in, what does it say? Bristol balloons. Bristol balloons. I've been in a hot air balloon. There's loads of them. In Bristol in the summer, there's like a hot air balloon festival, but I didn't think it was yet. And then there's just so many hot air balloons like everywhere in Bristol. I have been in a hot air balloon. I got it as like a red letter day, which is basically a gift certificate thing you can get for loads of different activities. And I got it for my 18th birthday and I went with my parents. And so you're basically in a wicker basket with a big balloon and loads of other people. But inside the basket, you're in a little container. So you're each contained in like a little square. So you step into the little squares, you're not strapped in or anything. And you just have to stand in this like quite tight square thing around you. I remember the heat was unbelievable because it's like fire making the balloon work and everything the heat on your face becomes really hot and then when they were trying to land it they were like it might be slightly bumpy when we land this straight in a ditch no joke like side up straight in a ditch i thought we were gonna die it was ridiculous but it's so calm on a hot air balloon like you think that you'd be panicking and it's so high up and everything like that but it's just so calm it's the weirdest like feeling in the world and you don't feel the height of it as well which is very odd but I definitely recommend going on a hot air balloon but like the landings are ridiculously sharp but yeah that's it that's the end of the thing I'm just babbling on to you now but book barn definitely recommend going but if you've got a book in mind that you want you're not going to find it in there you have to just go there on a whim like and you can get you know lovely little stuff like this like a little velvet covered book for a pound which is pretty good if you're looking for bargains I don't really think you're going to get many bargains there stick to your charity shops also there's the uh lovely waters oh my god you can still see those balloons 